What up people? Today we're making Eastern Europe's favorite food if they knew what it was. Pasta with vodka sauce. So without anything else to say, cheers. <coughs> Let's go baby! Let's start off with a knife and a board and one medium or in my case two medium sized white or yellow onions. Dice them like we usually do. I mean who doesn't like onion, right? I guess except for the people that don't like onion. Anyway, like my grandma says, nothing tastes good without a little bit of onion. Oh shit, I'm starting to cry here. Come on, let's finish this as fast as we can. Peel four cloves of garlic, get a garlic crusher on the side, then the last thing, four ounces of Parmesan cheese on the finest box grater setting, or if you have this grater, do that. Four ounces. It's a lot of cheese, isn't it? What I am sure of though is that this is beautiful and this whole thing is gonna taste great so now let's go to the stove top right uh, get a huge crock pot and another small one uh which we have to fill with water for my friends oh. you're right add like a fistful of salt don't be shy and let's turn on the heat put the lid on this is pasta and this is the sauce pot turn on the heat on that add in like two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil i put a tiny bit of oil in the pan maybe a bit more now, here comes our onions. Put all of your onions into the pot. Get a spatula. Mix them around and stir constantly and cook for about 5-7 minutes. Also, you can add in the garlic immediately, but I don't want it to burn, so I'll wait a little bit. Put it in like 2 minutes or so. The onions started to evaporate and I'm almost crying. <sighs> Jesus. Set on medium high heat. Oh God. Oh. Don't cry, don't cry. It's not worth it. Come on. I'll lower the heat just a bit more. And then brush in four cloves of garlic. So let's do that. Also maybe add a little bit more olive oil because olive oil. stuff is starting to burn, it seems. Oh, it smells so good. The olive oil, the onion. The best smell is, of course, onions and garlic. Start crushing in our garlic. One, two, three. Don't leave these chunks. And the last one, mix a little bit because the onions are starting to stick to the pot and the water is starting to boil also that means it's time for the pasta mix 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 don't let it stick and the water is boiling so get your pasta ready it's one pound of like pasta you like you can use penne or rigatoni i'm gonna use uh radiatori i don't know if that's the correct pronunciation nine minutes and that will be done and by then we should be done with our sauce let's put a wooden spatula a wooden spoon or a spatula is used to prevent the pasta water from spilling I thought you should know this. This is definitely not foreshadowing. Now, we can add in one tube. That's right, one tube of concentrated tomato paste. Or, if you don't have it, like I don't, I'm gonna add like real tomato ketchup. That's all I got, so good luck with that. It should turn out pretty good. Like, this is like the real tomatoes. It's not Heinz, don't use Heinz, you know? Anyway, oh shit! The wood thing didn't work. Lower the heat, just cleaned it, mix it all around. Nine minutes, like, now cook the tomatoes with a bit of red chili flake like a teaspoon will be enough that's about a teaspoon and now cook this mixture until the sauce turns like bronze color basically not bronze but like very deep red that's how you describe it but yeah cook it for a bit until it starts burning on the bottom basically then we will deglaze it with our vodka that's why it's called vodka sauce i figure maybe put the heat on a bit more and it's starting to thicken up real nice that's what we want we want it to stick to the bottom this time I know it's starting to look real thick another five to seven minutes by then our pasta should be done okay the sauce is very nice it's very rich red color and the pasta should be done by now it's time so I'll turn off the heat get a little mix yeah it seems pretty stiff we can check if we want but I'm pretty positive oh, shit. huh Okay, I'll bite into it. It's al dente. I don't know if you can see it. There's a very thin line inside. So let's go and drain it. Oh, I forgot. Also, get like a quarter of a cup of pasta water. Set it aside for now. And then drain it. We got our pasta ready. Now, the sauce is also ready. You can see it's stuck. Like, look at that. Now we have to deglaze it. Look at that. It's just stuck. Like, you can't get it off. So what we do now is, again, I have to say this. Don't try this at home. Do it at your own risk. But turn off all of the stuff stoves make sure there's no candles around and have like a towel nearby because i done this and i almost burned the house down so yeah now get your vodka and pour it in what this is gonna do it's gonna create a vapor of alcohol and if you have a 
the candle nearby or like the stove top is on, it's gonna burst into flames. So just be careful, use a towel to cover it up if that happens and you should be fine. So pour it in and deglaze. Mix, 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 mix. Try to deglaze all that brown stuff on the bottom. We didn't die, yay! It's awesome, I think we need more vodka. Oops. Now, dangerous part is over. Everything is where it's supposed to be. Turn on the heat on like low and get three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and your pasta water and just pour that in. What this will do is it will let the sauce know that it's gonna get hot in here. Just do it and now pour in the heavy cream. This will also help deglaze the bottom and now mix, mix, mix until we have beautiful, beautiful shosh. Mm, I'm gonna cream my pans, this is so good. Me Can't wait to mix and this should form a smooth, smooth sauce. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. Incorporated nicely until very smooth sauce forms. Look at that. It tastes just fucking awesome, dude. I've heard this is Drake's favorite food. Awkward. <laughs> okay, I think this is enough. Now it's time to add in the pasta to the sauce and then add in the cheese. Also leave some cheese for later, like to garnish. Also what I would like to do is add in a little bit of basil. This is not necessary. Oh my god, bro. This is too good to be true. Give it a taste. <laughs> oh shit, it's amazing. Okay, I'm gonna scoop some sauce for later usage because I didn't do one pound of pasta in here, so don't mind me. If I do, it's like I'll take half the sauce basically. I'm good. Now let's add in the pasta. Quickly! Dump it in like so and mix it all in with almost all of the cheese. There we go. Mix and mix and mix. And look at that. Look at that. This is like heaven on earth. It includes alcohol and pasta. And onions and garlic. Like heavy cream. What's better than this? Probably nothing. I like this pasta. Radiatori. Yes. Look how many crevices and it just absorbs the sauce. Turn off the heat. That is enough. It's time to serve, boys. Oh my god. Okay, let's go serve. It smells amazing. It tastes amazing. Wait. We should have added some salt. I forgot. Just to bring out the taste. Should have done this in the sauce, but you know, sometimes shit happens. So, and uh, here we go. Serve. It's pretty vegetarian. It only uses heavy cream. I'm celebrating today, so I'll eat a big portion. Don't judge me. Hey, yo, dog, can I get some of that sludge? Yeah, man, but only a spoonful. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, King Bat! Please. Anyway, add some more of that leftover parm on top like so and serve with some basil leaves on top if you have some basil i'll use some dry basil a bit more on top and that's it there you have it vodka sauce pasta people in eastern europe would love this pasta if they knew what it was i'm from eastern europe so without further ado let's dig in shall we i'll use this spoon why not oh my god it is brilliant no honestly i don't know how but this is just the most perfect sauce there is so simple so good and also vegetarian vegetarians what are you waiting for eat this mm, and i feel the heat from the chili flakes if you like what i do here like subscribe and see you on the next one next week peace